how to get quality work done in the least possible amount of time? The answer is focus and concentration. If you're able to work without getting distracted and you enter the flow state really quickly, you can get your work done three or even four times quicker than an average person. This video is a part of a series where I talk about how to increase your focus and concentration. If you're interested to learn how to increase your focus and concentration through different exercises and activities, I'm going to link the series down below, so check it out. Today we're going to cover the actual work, the time when you are fully focused and concentrated on one task ahead of you. We're going to talk about how to minimize the chance of getting distracted and how you can prevent the loss of focus and concentration. The first one I'm going to mention makes all the difference for me and every time I don't do it I regret it at the end of the day because even though I might be busy the whole day you know answering emails answering messages on teams there's a lot of urgent stuff that is being done the really important things they just don't get done because I don't find time for them so what I'm talking about of course is planning and I know it sounds really trivial, but trust me, it is a game changer. Since I started using time blocking to block out time for important focused work where I don't allow for any distractions, and then I block out time for shallow work such as answering emails, my productivity skyrocketed. I have a whole series on time blocking, but if you're new to it, I recommend the video where I explain what time blocking is and how I use it. Today you are going to learn how to time block your day so that it is as productive as it can be. You will learn what time blocking is, why it might be beneficial for you, how exactly to create a schedule using the time blocking method. And finally, I'm going to give you three extra tips at the end so that when you start, it is definitely a success. When you're time blocking, time block your meetings first or any real commitments where you really need to show up. Then block out time for focused work and then fill out the rest of the time with other tasks. In this series, I talk about aiming for four hours of deep work a day, but it depends a lot on the type of work you do. But trust me, you can always do more focused work than you initially think. And if you are like, I work 40 hours a week and I barely get two hours of time for really focused work, well, then maybe it's time to talk to your manager. And the way how you can approach this conversation is to outline how you spend the time in the previous week. Show your manager, this is what I've been spending time on, this kind of tasks take me this amount of time and I only get two hours on these really important tasks. Is this how you would like me to spend my time? And if you would like to learn more about how to have this kind of conversation, I recommend the book Deep Work from Cal Newport, where he actually outlines how to exactly have this kind of conversation word for word. Once you block out the time for focused work, it's then time to decide what you actually do during that time. I recommend my video about Stephen Covey's four time quadrants, where I talk about how to distinguish between important and urgent tasks. My recommendation is when you are choosing a task, choose always one task per one block of time. Let's say you want to work on your report between 9 and 10 a.m. Before you start, ensure that you are not going to be distracted. If you have your own office, close the door and ask not to be disturbed. Have the space around you as clean and as distraction-free as possible, but still motivating. Put your phone somewhere away so you don't see it, or hear it. Preferably, you should have a separate computer for your personal use and for your work time. And even on your work computer, it is a good idea to create two profiles. One where you have everything you need for your work, including email, Slack, Teams, or whatever your organization uses. And then another profile for your deep focused work where you don't have any emails, any messages popping up. The only thing you have there is really what you need for your focused work, maybe a Word document, Excel document, a simple browser. 
And that's it. Before you start with your work, go to the bathroom, make your coffee, put a bottle of water on your table. Just make sure that you don't have any reasons to stand up from your desk while you are working. Put a sheet of paper and pen next to you so that when you're working and something pops up in your head, you can quickly note it down and knowing you will attend to it after your work is finished, you can return to the task ahead. If the task ahead of you seems too complicated, make a plan for what you want to achieve in the given block of time. Don't just write write a report, but write what actually you want to do. Maybe write an outline and introduction. If you feel like you really don't want to do this, try to push through the first 15 minutes. We often can commit to 15 minutes. And what often happens is that after the 15 minutes, we've already entered this state of flow and we are able to continue for the whole block of time. If after the 15 minutes, you still don't feel like continuing and working, try to identify why. Is it that you are distracted? Is it maybe that you're not used to being focused on just one task ahead of you for longer periods of time? If so, then just continue with the exercises I've talked about in my previous videos and slowly extend the time in which you're able to focus and concentrate on one task. And in the meantime, just schedule shorter blocks of time. Start with the 15 or 20 minutes and then over time slowly increase it until you're able to schedule blocks that are 90 minutes or even two hours long. And if you're usually able to concentrate for 90 minutes without issues, but today is just not your day, why is it? Did you maybe not sleep enough, eat enough? Do you have some other things going on? Try to identify what it is that is preventing you from focusing on the work ahead and see if you can prevent it for next time. Often what I find useful is just to do a 10 minute meditation. It can really alleviate some of the stress we might be feeling. What often helps me is to commit publicly, and by publicly I mean to my team, for example, to a deadline or to review how the tasks that I want to cover today are helping me achieve my goals, whether it is my life goals or just my weekly goals. I hope this was helpful. Let me know down below if there is something in particular that you struggle with when it comes to focus and concentration. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!